morning to ya. Hi guys, so I know this isn't my normal introduction into a You Deserve a Drink. Currently in the shirt that I wore last night and the mascara that I wore last night. I got a Beansers right beside me. Beans, say hello to the people. She's such a cunt in the mornings. I know I've had a couple videos this year already that aren't standard wide ads. And don't worry, I'm gonna do normal ones completely, but I just wanna try some new shit. Here's the deal. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram story or any sort of social media, you know that I love to cook. Oh, hello. Look who decided to join us. <laughs> I love cooking. Um, I follow a vegan diet and I like to make a bunch of vegetables and shit and you guys are always commenting how you wish you had the recipes or you could learn how to do it. So listen what I thought we could do. I love food, I love food at all times, but probably the moment when I love food the most is when I'm hungover. Spoiler alert, that's right now. So I am going to get into that kitchen and make me something delicious to soak up this hangover. And I thought maybe I'll do this as like, you know, some cooking vids where I show you what I make when I'm hungover and we'll call it the morning after fill. Here's my concept for what I'm making today. I have been craving the hell out of some chicken pot pie with, you know, vegan chicken. I love chicken pot pie. I think it's delicious, but my love for chicken pot pie does not override my disdain for chicken pot thighs. Okay, trust. I love the crust, but I don't want to rust. I want people to thrust. Sorry. I also love food that's stuffed into other foods. Specifically, poblano peppers. So I thought, why don't combine the two? For a lower carb option, why not make chicken pot pie filling and stuff it into poblano peppers and bake that? So, today we are making chicken pot pie blanos. Let's do it. For the tastiest shit you ever tasted on the morning after me, I got super wasted. As you can see, I had a bit of a costume change. That is because I needed to walk um, the queen of this castle, which is Bean's Heart, and my friend came over to rehearse for a show, but little did they know, I got nothing on under here. You wish. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my very tight high-waisted pants this morning because I know generally how you make like a chicken pot pie filling, like I know how to make a roux, etc. But we're kind of just gonna eyeball it and um, hope for the best. I doubt it'll be inedible. Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need and also like if you don't want it to be vegan, then don't have it be vegan, like fuck off. Here's what we got. A bag of frozen mixed veggies. You could use fresh ones, but also like, we only have so many years on this earth, guys. Take some fucking shortcuts, okay? Unbleached white flour. I got some vegan butter. I chopped up a small white onion and celery. Then I've got uh, the veggie chicken. The brand that I'm using is Beyond Meat. It's vegan. It's like kind of my favorite fake meat brand. And this is not sponsored. However, Beyond Meat, how we haven't done a brand deal is Beyond Meat. Sorry, this isn't my drunk kitchen, I won't do puns. I have some unsweetened, unflavored almond milk. Be sure you double check to make sure it is that because you don't want a vanilla chicken pot pie, y'all. That sounds like some worst cooks in America shit. And finally, then you've got poblano peppers that I essentially cut like a little vagina shape in so I could get my fingers in there and get all the seeds and stuff out and hollow them out. A lot of times when you see stuffed peppers, they like blister them first to get the skin off. I fucking hate using the word blister in the kitchen. I think it's disgusting. Also, I feel like when they're not roasted, they hold their shape better. So I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. If you don't know what a poblano is, it's big ass pepper. Uh, you've clearly never seen anything that Bobby Flay has ever done because he uses these bitches and everything. It's not spicy, it's just like a green chili. If you don't like them or you can't find them, you use a bell pepper. Fill a Timberland boot with this shit. It'll be delicious. I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Um, and in Celsius, that's not my problem. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my burner on low and I'm gonna scoop in a couple big scoops of vegan butter. That's probably enough. While that melts, it gets all, excuse you. While that melts, I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper that thing. Also, I'm gonna throw in a few red pepper flakes and a little garlic powder, why not? 
Got some red pepper flakes, a couple dashes of that. Garlic powder, a couple dashes of that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in your onions and your celery to sweat it out, okay? Even your onions and celery need a little workout on Saturday mornings, okay? Once the onions and celery get a little more translucent, that's where we're gonna start to build the creamy sauce. Take your flour and put a couple tablespoons up and down. I'm sure you could do exact measurements, but I'm just gonna kind of feel it out, see what, um, what thickness I like. Hubba hubba. All right, bam, there's another tablespoon. Kind of move it around so that the flour soaks up all that melty butter and all those onion juices. Once that's incorporated in, I'm gonna add like a cup of almond milk, let's say. This is immediately getting thick. You can see, come on in here, come on in, guys. See how it's thickened? Ooh, I might add a little more almond milk. So you guys actually missed the last step that I did, I didn't record it, which was frantically running to the grocery store to get vegetable stock because obviously I need veggie stock. What, what was I thinking? Also, I still didn't put a shirt on underneath when I went to the store. Suckers didn't even know! I like to buy the low sodium veggie stock because I like to salt shit myself, get it to my taste, okay? I don't want the man controlling how much bloat I'm gonna have. Put some of that shit in there. The stock and the flour and the butter will all come together and form a rich, gooey, creamy sauce, hopefully, God. Willing. Look at this artistic half sunlight, half darkness we got going on here. Basically, I'm just whisking the fuck out of it. I'm gonna let it boil and thicken and get delicious. While this is continuing to bubble and uh, reduce down to enhance the creaminess, I'm gonna add my other shit. Here we've got the chicken that I, I kind of softened up and cut into little cubes, so let's toss those babies in there. Throw in some of your uh, frozen veggies. Added about half a bag. Mmm, look how delicious this is coming together. Now that all the friends are in the hot tub, I'm gonna let them, you know, hang out with each other, mingle. ABT, always be tasting. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yes, 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 yes. Celebrate. I'm gonna have a little hair of the dog for this hangover, baby. I love the way a champagne cork popping sounds because it's the sound of me deciding I'm not going to the gym today. Yes. Okay, now I think the flavors are all married and lovely. Let's see. Ooh, delicious. I'm gonna turn off the heat. So now it is time to stuff damn peppers. Quick note about these peppers is when you really get in there and get all the seeds out, please wash your hands like three times afterwards. I washed my hands twice after, but when I just went and did my emergency trip to the grocery store, I got some sleep out of my eye and had to drive for the next two miles with one eye because this one was on fucking fire. I can still feel it. Like I just talking about it, it came back. Okay, as you can see, I have got my peppers all stuffed. I'm gonna stick this in an oven that I've got at 400 for, I don't know how long. All of this stuff is cooked, so basically until the peppers get soft. You guys, holy shit, how good do these look? Oh, that's hot, that's a hot pan. It's a very hot pan. I am so excited. I'm gonna take this one, and I put it with a little uh, arugula that I just put some lemon juice and salt and pepper on, because who doesn't like a peppery green, you know what I mean? I hope you enjoyed this first morning after fill. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe I do like one of these a month, like one of these, one hot seat, and then a couple regular wide ads. Do you like this idea? I'm gonna put a comment down below and thumbs up it if you want me to keep doing it. This looks perfect. I should probably let it cool, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, the chicken pot pie filling with the pepper works. And the pepper's still like a little al dente, which is nice. Oh fuck. Another great bonus about this, besides that it's low carb and all vegan, is that when I come home tonight drunk, these motherfuckers are gonna be good cold. 